the good Lord provided me with a wonderful helper today as I was preparing this lesson. I'd actually already recorded it, but I was doing the producing of it, and I had uh, my great-grandson, Calvin Beasley, with me. So I explained to him a little bit about what the lesson is about, about faith and about Jesus and how much he loves us. He was a big help to me, and I appreciate him being here. Maybe he can help me in the next lesson. We'll just wait and see. But I want to express my appreciation to Calvin for his help and for, for Kevin and Brittany, who trusted us enough to leave him with us. Increase my faith. And I appreciate you participating in these short lessons, but there'll be several of them. Upon salvation, the one being saved is a new person. And I think many times it, people uh, count on salvation too quickly. But salvation carries with it signs and behaviors that are different. So if I look back at my life and at the point of my salvation, if I was the same person after that as I was before that, then in all likelihood I wasn't saved. Uh, so many people, I'm afraid, walk around content in their life thinking they're saved and they may not be. And I think a lot of people who are saved question their salvation too much. One of the reasons that I'm led to do this increase our faith, increase my faith, a prayer, and the instructions for doing that is that very reason. We need to be assured, have assurance of our salvation that we might exercise the faith that God's given us to be an example of him to those who see us and are around us and hear of us. Salvation transforms us into a new person. That new person is able to know God's will. Now, do we know everything that God wants? No, not really. But as far as the will of sharing the gospel and the re what that refers to really is our relationship with God. When we're born again, we have that relationship with God. He is really our Father. We're His child. And therefore, we can please Him because we, as we stay in His Word, we learn those things that He desires and the things that He teaches. Listen to this scripture, Romans 12, verse 2. And be not conformed to this world, but ye, be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. So our b bodies, our behavior, our lives are transformed. Being a spiritual being now, we are renewed by our thoughts being on God and on, in His Word. And by doing so, our lives reflect that which is good, that which is acceptable and approved by God as and is His will for us. Believers are to take up our cross daily. There, we are to die daily to ourselves. In other words, not my will, but thine be done. And let go of pride and selfishness that kept us from him in the days prior. By yielding to the indwelling Holy Spirit, believers produce the fruit that comes from the Holy Spirit. Galatians chapter 5, verses 22 and 23 describes the fruit of the Holy Spirit. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, temperance. 
against such there is no law. So all of the fruit of the Spirit is lawful. And those features or qualities of the fruit of the Spirit should be reflective of the lives that we live as believers in Jesus Christ. In Colossians, the second chapter and the seventh verse, we'll close today. Rooted and built up in him and established in the faith as ye have been taught, abounding therein with thanksgiving. I am so thankful for my parents, my mother, my daddy. I was raised in a Christian home. Going to church was like when the doors were open. I'm also so thankful for my early Sunday school teachers, particularly Miss Waldron, who I gave such a hard time to. She was a happy lady when she saw that I was born again. I made a profession of faith at the church. Uh, she was a big part of that because she put up with me arguing and challenging everything. But she persisted through the love that she had for me and the love she had for the Lord. So what we are to do that will help us to increase our faith is to be very thankful regularly for those who have passed the word along to us, for the preachers, for the teachers, for the Holy Spirit primarily, and the word of God as we are reading and studying the inspired Word of God and our teacher is the Holy Spirit. We are beginning to learn how we can see and experience an increase in our faith. 